Hi guys, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can create an app that can convert any message to as a secret message. So here you can see that's our app here, right? Encode and decode. Let me encode some message here. Click on encode and type your message here. Okay. So this is Saro. Okay. And that's my secret message okay and uh, and messages i am a millionaire right so that's my secret message now click on convert to encode you can see that's something here no one can read it okay now click on the share button okay and you can share this with in a whatsapp insta facebook anywhere let me just share this in a email okay and uh, i'm going to share this message share it now now i send this message here now let me just copy this message now someone received this message right now they have this one app now how they can decode this right so go to the back and here you find decode option click on this and paste your message here like this now we have to decode this message what is this click on this decode your message option here you can see this is sort of that's my secret message i'm a millionaire right so that's very easy way to encode your message and decode your message so no one can read your message anywhere so let me just show you how we can create this app so that's very easy and simple app but that's really really very useful app okay so that's our video here yesterday we have learned how we can design our app right so you can see our encode decode option and design we have completed yesterday let's code for this app now go to the block section that's the design here right now go to the block and now whenever someone click on this code decode encode button right so let's make it visible off and make this vertical arrangement make it visible on it means whenever someone click on convert to encode right okay so it means button 3 so i'm going to rename this convert and code right btn okay so go to the block and you will find your convert encode whenever someone click on this convert encode button so we have to convert our message it means text box one dot text message to in some format right so for that we will create here variables list okay so click on variables and you'll find this slides global variable and just type your word list like this now uh, click on list and you will find here the make a list option just drag and drop this here and then we have to make a, another one more list under this one list right and just copy paste this two and three times right just make it as a three times like this now why we are creating your list and what we are going to do here now if i just say if i want to convert a to one right so i have to uh, write down here i have to tell that i have to i have to convert a if someone uh, type in their message a then we have to convert a to one okay and if someone type b in their message then we will convert this b to two and if someone type here c in their message then we will convert the c to three right now this is just a basic thing right you can choose anything here like you can convert a to some some format like you can convert a to like in this format like four eight four nine two has one to like this okay you can make it more complicated your uh encode encode message you can convert your message in the in a complex mode right whatever you want to do like you can do anything with that but in this uh, video we'll learn just a simple thing that so you can understand the idea about encoding and decoding right so let's convert so whenever that's the list here right now make a, another one more list because we have to that one is list for encoding we have to do 
decoding also okay so let's make it just copy and paste this list here okay and then this one is word list 2 okay and make sure this one is just replace if there is 1 then we have to make 1 if there is 2 then we have to make b if there is 3 then we have to make it as a c right you can add on more values here up to z let's code for it so we have to convert this message okay simple message for that we have to use here for each loop in the left side you will find the for each loop in the control option and you can see here this one for each loop just drag and drop this loop here and the for each item it means from the each item we have to convert it a b and c so from uh, we, we have to get the list right so how we can get it so we have to call here get the global word list this one like this now we have to set this converted message in this label it means label one right so go to the blog and you will find a label one where is this this label one dot text so label one dot text should be this should be replace with replace all you will find here the option or click on text and you will see replace all text we have to replace our all text some uh, one two three like type of text right so which text we have to convert we have to convert a text box this text text box one dot text right go to the block and in the find you will find text box one dot text this one and text box one dot text we have to convert a whole text box one dot text right and segment segment means which text we have to convert so for that click on this list option and you'll find a select a list we have to select a list first okay that one is list so select a list right select list item list right so list should be which one this one is word list right now we have to select item from the list right so here you can see the item option just get item this will fetch the item from that one list but which item we have to fetch we have to fetch this one a right now what we will do we will set as an index value it means one first is index is one so we'll make it as a one right so this will fetch a if the word any word have a word right any word have yeah, any string have so that will convert a to one okay so what we have to replace here we will look up we have to use here look up pair option so in the left side you will find the list option and here you can see the look up in pair key just drag and drop this here and which key we have to found here we have to found from this one list just copy and paste select list item list get item and then we have to use here this one line and then we have to use here one pair so from which pair it means global word list this one like get global word list like this simple now this will for each loop replace a but when this loop will run second time so we have to save the previous value in text box uh, label text right so what we will do we will save click on text box 2 from which we are getting text box 1 dot text so text box 1 dot text set text box 1 dot text 2 value should be label 1 dot text this one so label 1 dot text this one like this one right and then go to the design and you will find this here button it means button 4 go to the blog and find button 4 here and whenever someone click on button 4 then in the left side you find sharing option call sharing message and which message we have to share we have to share label one dot text message like this right so that's one is fine now click on the share option and here you can see 1 2 3 G right that's your message right okay now let's decode this message go to the back 
bag button click on this bag and we have to decode this message right click on decode now how we can decode this message that's very easy we just need to i need to drag and drop this here and just copy and paste this whole code as it is okay and then just convert change it to convert to encode right so go to the design and we need to find which one is decode button so make sure this should be disabled and vertical element should be enabled decode your message this one button it means button 5 right so make sure this one is button 5 right and we have to get the item from the word list 2 like this and we have to replace which text we have to replace text box 2 text right this one click on it and you find text box 2 right go to the block just change it to text box 2 get item is as it is look up as it is everything is that as it is but just set this text box 2 level 1 should be which one go to the here and design i will find level 2 right go to the block and change it to level 2 like this right now just go to the design again and you'll find your share option right you can share this message also so button 6 it means just copy paste and change this button 4 to button 6 like this right so that's very easy now okay so now you can simply encode your some message and decode your some message right here right so let me just give you one more thing right example let me just you can see a b and c here is there's only three character right now okay but if you want to make sure if you want to use one more character like uh, h i j k l more then you just need to click on this setting just item then copy and paste this one drag and drop it make you what you need to do i want d should be four like this you can make it d should be uh, like a percentage value you can make it like this right if it is want to make it uh, one should be like a uh, has value b should be like a uh, uh, n value c should be like a uh, this value and d should be like this value right and let me just try how it's work okay but make sure you have to replace all these value as it is like here right now if i just choose here e it means has should be a and uh, n percent should be b and uh, this one bracket should be c and i just need one more list here just copy and paste it and drag and drop here one more item like this just here and make sure percentage should be should like this right you can see whenever we click on level 2 so make sure this one should be level 2 value right we have to change this global peer to word list 2 okay Now let's run this app and how it's work and then encode some message like ABC and convert to encode fine let's copy this code here okay just copy this and go to the back and click on decode paste your message here yeah. this one is can't paste okay fine this one is message right now let's click on decode your message you can see ABC right so that's very easy way to convert your message in coding and decoding right so you can uh, make a secret right using this method right so that's very easy way to create this app if you have still some doubt you can ask me on command and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video share this video with your friends with your family and please 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 don't don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day be safe bye bye